Welcome back to Kalan English Sports, where we make sports your English classroom. In today's lesson, we're diving into some thrilling commentary from yesterday's match between Chelsea and Manchester City. This match was a big one. Chelsea and Manchester City are two of the top teams in the Premier League, and every time they face off, it is a game worth watching. Today, we're going to break down some key pieces of Peter Deary's commentary to help you learn English through real-world examples. Let's get started. We will start from the statement we see on our screen, like we always do. For Enzo Mariska, for your ago a title winner under Pep with Series Academy what a first task with Chelsea here Peter Deere is talking about Enzo Mariska there he is he won a title with Pep Guardiola when he was working with Manchester City's Academy team four years ago so everything happened four years ago now he's got a big challenge ahead as he takes on his first major task with Chelsea the phrase what a first task highlights just how challenging his new his new role is for him especially his team facing Manchester City on day one of the Premier League's new season or the new campaign of the Premier League I'm sure he did not like that at all Pep on his ninth visit to Stamford Bridge in the Premier League shakes hands with yet another friendly foe. Uh, in this sentence the word Pep refers to Pep Guardiola the manager of Manchester City there he is and it means that this is his nine time visiting Stamford Bridge, Chelsea's home ground for a Premier League match. The term friendly for is quite interesting because it means that while Pep Guardiola and Mariska are rivals in the game, they have a friendly relationship outside of it. So what do the stats say about these two teams? Now let's try to forget about the two managers but focus on the two teams in general. For Chelsea, seven years since Conte's champions, and for City, City for five in a row, and here they go. Therefore, the, this line is referring to Chelsea's Premier League victory under their former manager, Antonio Conte, which happened seven years ago. Uh, CT for five in a row. This phrase really suggests that Manchester City are, are on their way to win five consecutive Premier League titles. And over here, Peter Dury ends with here they go, signaling that City are ready to continue their success. They are ready to win their fifth consecutive Premier League title. Erling Haaland blasts his way through and rips into another new campaign. Erling Haaland, there he is, is known for his powerful playing style. And here, Peter Dury uses the phrase, blasts his way through, to describe Erling Haaland's aggressive and dominant performance. When we go to the phrase, rips into another new campaign, it means that Haaland is starting the new season with the same intensity he's known for. I think he scored the first goal in the 18th minute and thanks to Erling Haaland, Manchester City are already leading Chelsea 1-0. Now it's time for us to take a look at the second goal of the match and that was scored by Kovacic. There he is. Kovacic, City are winning again from the outset. Um, in this line, the, the phrase from the outset means from the very first match of the season. Over here, Peter Dury is highlighting that Manchester City with Kovacic in their team, they are closing to victory from the start of the season because yesterday's match were, was their first of the new campaign and they already started it with a win. As a football fan, one thing you should know about Kovacic, if you have not already, is the fact that he used to play for Chelsea. This is him wearing Chelsea's jersey and lifting a trophy for Chelsea as a Chelsea player. So a Chelsea player turned champion sets the seal on it. So this phrase is talking about a former Chelsea player, Kovacic, who has now become a champion. Now let's try to focus on the phrase sets a seal on it. It is an expression that means that they confirmed or finalized the victory. Therefore, before his goal, you know, there was a chance for Chelsea to draw the game, but now it's too so with a two goal deficit it was a bit hard for Chelsea to catch the champions and maybe share points therefore since that did not happen Kovacic was the player who sailed the deal for Manchester City and helped them get away with three points. Nothing changed. The standards have not slipped one jot. Here, Peter Dury is emphasizing that Manchester City's high standards have remained unchanged. And the phrase not slipped one jot means there has been no decrease in quality or performance for Manchester City. 
Whenever I think of Manchester City, the only team that can probably beat them, at least in my mind, is Real Madrid. Erling Haaland, monstrous again in the moment that mattered with his first half goal, has five now opening, what has five now on opening days alone. Over here, the word monstrous is used to describe Erling Haaland's dominant and powerful presence on the field. Peter Dury notes that Haaland scored an important goal in the first half because he here he said let me use my pen here he said with his first half goal so he scored the important goal in the first half and now he has scored five goals on opening days of the season opening days of the premier league season that is so highland i can't think of highland and not remember his goal scoring stats what about the other goal scorer Kovacic. Matteo Kovacic, less familiar with the art of goal scoring, squeezed one beyond Sanchez to complete the job at the expense of Enzo Mariska, who of course understand that it won't be City, who also understands, who of course understands that understands that it won't be CT and Pep every week there will be there will be challengers more surmountable here is Kovacic he is not known for scoring many many goals so when Peter Dury said less familiar with the art of goal scoring uh, he's pointing out that it's not his usual role which means goal scoring is not uh, under Kovacic's job description he squeezed one beyond Sanchez. It means that he just managed to get the ball. So do you guys see the ball? Where is it? Okay, so do, do you guys see the ball? He managed to get this ball past Chelsea, past Chelsea's goalkeeper Sanchez. I don't know why, why I am stuttering today. Peter Dury also suggests the stats while Enzo Mariska's team lost to Manchester City. Not every opponent will be as tough as Pep Guardiola's side because he said there were Will be challengers or opponents or other teams you're going to face in the future who are going to be more surmountable so if you surmount something let's say difficulty or an obstacle an obstacle that means you overcome it so there will be challengers more surmountable or there will be challengers who will not be as tough as Pep Guardiola's side which is Manchester City now that we have gone through the commentary, let's look at some of the key vocabulary and phrases we used for this video. We'll start from the phrase friendly foe. This phrase means a rival who is also a friend. You can use it when talking about someone who competes with you in a friendly manner. What about the word outside? This word means the beginning of something. For example, from the outside, the team was determined to win. And you can talk, uh, you can say that about Manchester City because they won the game at the end. Not asleep, one jot. This is an expression meaning not even a little bit. By the way, the word jot it refers to a very small amount. Let's go to the word monstrous. This it, it's an adjective and it describes something or someone as extremely powerful or dominant. You might hear it in sports to describe a player who is having a huge impact and we just heard or we just learned that Peter Dury called Erling Haaland monstrous. Now it's time for us to practice using these phrases in everyday sentences. For example, we can say he was a friendly fall on the court but we are good friends of it which means of the court. So this phrase means that while the person was a comp was a competitive and perhaps challenging opponent during games or matches, because over here we used the phrase friendly fall, uh, that person has a positive or and amicable relationship outside that competitive context because the statements end by using we're good friends of it. This statement highlights that despite their rivalry or competition they maintain a strong friendship now let's take a look at one more example by using the word outside i just told you the meaning of a few minutes ago so we can use it as follows from the outside it was clear that the project would be a success this sentence means that from the very beginning because we used the word outside from the very the very beginning it was evident or obvious that the project would turn out to be successful 
and the phrase from the outset indicates that the start of the project uh, so when we come to the word maybe clear it suggests that there were unmistakable signs or strong indications of success right from the beginning right from the start therefore to wrap up we have learned some interesting commentary from Chelsea versus Manchester City match and explored some new vocabulary and phrases if you found this lesson helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to Kalal English Sports for more English lessons using the latest sports commentary and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow